If you look at Nigeria, say, over the last 10 years or the last 20 years, as a country, we're 64 years old. Our hotel industry, now we're in Echo, over 30 years old, but the majority of hotels in Lagos are less than 15 years old. We're an embryonic industry, right? Add on to that, look at the restaurants in the last five years compared to, say, 10 years ago. The different restaurants that are here, the style of restaurants, the food that is being cooked in them. So we are an industry that is very young. So, of course, we're an industry that is learning and developing. If you look at the UK, their tourism industry is hundreds of years old, right? There are hotels there that are open 170 years. Yeah? So we are very young. We have to realize that. We have to understand that. And that brings its own challenges. But the trends, just look at the amount of new hotels that have come. Look at the amount of new restaurants that have come. Look at the amount of venues that have come, right? Look at the development of the beach resorts. So somewhere like Jara, it's f less than five years old. Yeah. So imagine the early learning that they're going through. Yeah. My next question is, the market is all waiting or wants to wait for us to catch up or to grow. So what, we, what do we need to do to catalyze to make sure we meet the demand for tourist attraction? Because I think you mentioned that some of these markets, though some developed markets are like, well, you guys are so much are choking us. We want to explore. So how can we catalyze Nigeria's tourism industry to offer that? So in arguably in the first case, the market is not going to stop, right? So currently, Nigeria ranks 68 in the world as a tourism destination out of 208 countries. So we're not doing too bad, right? We're seeing high percentage growth in our tourism industry, the, uh, the revenues and so forth. So in the first instance, we shouldn't run before we've learned to walk. Now, I strongly believe in a phrase, the deeper the foundation, the stronger the fortress. So in the first instance, let's build our foundation. We don't need to rush. We need to do it right. The market will still be there. People will still travel, right? The population of the world is getting bigger. There are more Gen Zs and millennials and whatever the next one is going to be called. They're all going to travel, right? For the record, the interviewer is currently laughing at me, right? They're all going to want to travel. The question we have to ask ourselves is, why will they come to us? And the answer, we have to, if you like, tell them a story that makes them want to come. Now, we're lucky. Nollywood, second biggest film industry in the world after Hollywood, right? Our music, winning Grammys and whatever other music awards. Burner Boy, Whiskey, Davido, Thames, Ira. Huge around the world. Our food, there are massive amounts of Nigerian restaurants in cities like London. So our fashion taking over the Paris catwalks and so forth. All sorts of different things. The story and therefore the perception of Nigeria is changing. People are more interested in Nigeria. But we too have to control that story and tell it as loud and as proudly as we can. So when you talk about foundations, what can you uh, put a face to that or I know the infrastructures or what do we really need to get? It's not, there's never one answer to a problem like this. Right? So I had a 30-minute presentation. I'm not answering every question that we could possibly have. I avoided lots of them. If you sit there and go through every problem, you'll never answer the challenge. You'll never fix anything. You'll just talk. We'll do this next year. We'll do this next month. We'll do another one somewhere else the week after. Right? We have to take it slow, not be in a hurry, but we have to start the journey. The most difficult part of any journey is the first step. Okay. Yeah, what advice would we give for us to take that first step? What do we need to watch out for? Yeah, trying to kind of copy somewhere, play blueprints, kind of funnel. But why is it with you, Nigerians, you always have to copy somebody else's trend? Why can't you create your own trend and your own story? You are creative, Abby. You are innovative. You've got original thought. So create your own story. Don't look at somebody else. Other people may be doing it better right now. It doesn't mean you can't do it better in the future. It doesn't have to be done today, tomorrow, or next month. Yeah? 
America didn't become the biggest tourism country in the world overnight. It took time, right? So it'll take time, but take the step. Thank you very much, sir.